we were in that room, and this has happened to me twice, twice, where where she goes, oh, God, I still want to stay, but I'm supposed to dance at Rhino tonight, and it's gonna, I'm going to lose like $1,000. And no, you go, Wait a minute, so you don't even know that no! she, you think she just likes you? Yes, because oh. I'm naive, and then she... And, and instead she, of saying you're going to buy me, she says, I, I, "I'm going to lose money if I stay." That's right. I don't want to take. I don't want to take time off work. So you could even not think you were with a hooker. Right. Then. You if could you just, just say, "I'll just cover your just money." Just pay my shift. Made. That's all. Otherwise, I just <laughs> right. have to. And she says, "No I have, pictures, but I have she leaves close." I think a thousand dollar deficit. If you could just pay my <laughs> thousand dollars to have sex with me, oh my, my ego is way good. too big to, big to pay a thousand dollars. I'm not paying a grand to have sex with you. What if you work a half shift? Exactly. Yeah. How about your coffee break? Maybe. Yeah, let's start working. Let's work. Let's work. So, out. are you are you pleasantly surprised when that doesn't happen in Vegas? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I I remember just, I remember saying you got to leave. I'm not doing this. Oh, what no. are you talking about? That's well, sad I support for a strong you. worth ethic. So yeah, get up there. That's a stage. good work ethic. Yeah. You talk about being a fan and starstruck. You but you know a lot of famous people, right? I do. You, uh, was it Renee? Renee Zellweger is a friend of yours. She's you just dog. met Sean Penn. Was that a first time of meeting him? It was. I met. Uh, I was with uh, John Leguizamo and. Uh, um, we were having breakfast at uh, this place, and, and it's a hotel called Chateau Marmont. And, and so a lot of people who are celebrities stay there when they're working. So um, Philip Seymour Hoffman was down the way, and he comes up, and uh, I'm, uh, again, a huge fan. You're talking about a great actor. He's a brilliant He's actor. He's a brilliant yeah. actor. And who would have thought the guy who played Spicoli at the beginning of his career was going to turn into the... Wasn't he Spicoli? That's Penn right. Spicoli, That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. In Fast yeah. Times, I thought, Which oh, Stoner. Great, right. And now he's this legend. Well, yeah. and he's a legend. And, and what was interesting is that when... It, it, it wasn't Sean Penn. Uh, and I'll explain what I mean. Oh, Phillips, oh, it wasn't, no, well, so Phillips Seymour Hoffman came out and he had... Um, he had a, um, uh, the whole time he was talking this way because he had a cigarette in his uh, mouth. It wasn't, it wasn't lit. And it was just, this is literally how he talked to me the entire time. I was like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not even watching football right now. I'm such a huge, uh, I'm such a huge basketball fan. So. <laughs> and literally the whole time he had this little cigarette in his lips. And I was like, I can't understand him. He's a big man and he's yellow in complexion. It's interesting. Not very healthy. That's Doesn't not look very healthy. healthy. Yeah, that's yeah, not good. Interesting. A beautiful guy, but then an older, then an old, a guy who looks like Sean Penn comes up, an older, okay. an older guy. Um, Sean Penn, if he was eighty, you know, uh, oh. yeah, uh, much older, which is very interesting and kind of like I said, geez, that guy looks like Sean Penn, and he was, but you know, old, much older, and and uh, uh, weird hair and and hard, very hard, but you know, very very deep lines, and and uh, we start talking, and uh, it was. Um, it was Sean Penn. I mean, I, I really amazing. Was he, was he made up for a movie or? Is I it? no, he just you know, it's it's it's. He's it's, dating Charlize Theron. How bad could he look? It's it's hard living, man. It's uh, look. It, he's it's time in Haiti. I'm a huge right? fan, so I'm not saying I'm not I, I'm not saying anything bad about him. I, I just think that. He probably smokes a lot, and he think he lives on cigarettes and coffee and, yeah. and angst. And it was just very interesting. <laughs> right. I really didn't know it was him, and I'm wow. not kidding. Uh, wow. That was amazing to me. And I have an eye for so that So first some guy you thought was him was not him. I, I literally— Then I, he sat next to you, and you didn't think it was him. The truth is the, the truth is that I had when I saw him hug Philip Seymour Hoffman, I had no idea. And then he hugged John, and then he said— And I went, I looked at him, and I went, That's a, that looks so much like— a sh- an older Sean Penn. Sean Penn's dad's here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then he, and then I was introduced to Sean. I went, that's 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 crazy. So Did you get to have a conversation with him about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk a little bit. Yeah, talk, like? talk. He's so such a nice guy. What was really fun with me is that John said he's a stand up, he's a comic, and he's a stand up comedian. And Sean went, Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I know. And I was like, Ah! He, <laughs> he knows who I am. He knows who I am. <laughs> and I should be over this kind of stuff at my no, age. Uh, but I still yeah. get excited. I think it's great to be a fan, even when yeah. you have success. Because yeah. your enthusiasm for the business is what got you in it, right? I think so. I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose the idea that I'm too cool to be really excited about two of the greatest actors oh. of my generation. That's, that's, Stop them by I, for breakfast. I know you. what yeah. they do. It's very difficult to be as good as they are, are all the time. Are I, you the you know. first in your family to be big in show business? Like, what did your father do for a living? Well, um, I'm glad you asked. My father, uh, my father always had a mysterious past and i've been talking about this on stage my father uh was a banker the problem was we got moved around a lot you understand we lived all over the world right in the philippines india pakistan greece saudi arabia that's right moved to the states when i was 14 and then he stayed overseas and he would always be gone and my father big man 
you know, like the size of your kitchen, like a giant. I mean, okay. Not, not, he just grew up on a farm. His mother stuck an udder in his mouth, and he just <laughs> <laughs> never. I mean, he's just th- as big. And, but same DNA, though, uh, right? Is yes, it all diet? but yeah. I take after my mother's side. She's okay. Sicilian. She comes from a long line of petty criminals. I'm just made to kind of blend in <laughs> with Run the crowd. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I can pick your pocket. Like, I, wh- 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 he was white, medium, <laughs> brown hair. <laughs> 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 They'll never find me. Right. My mother stands out like the Great Wall of China. Harry, like, of the forest, Harry. Like, like I've never seen. I don't know what happened. What nationality? Your well, dad? he's like some. He's like a persecutor, a German, something. I don't know. <laughs> persecuted, he's some a, persecuted yeah, stereotype. Yeah, yeah. the kind that wears a uniform and orders you around. <laughs> but he true. was a he was a military guy for a long time. And uh, like w- one of my favorite stories, and this is a this is a, a great story. He was reading the newspapers. Nobody more macho. Nobody more macho. Um, I never saw him afraid, and I, and he would only come alive in sort of combat. He was just this giant guy. He was reading the newspaper. And um, and he went, look at this, a grown man, a grown man was attacked and killed by a mountain lion. And I looked at his face and I went, yeah. And he went. Pansy, <laughs> and, and, and so I went. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt your reading. And this is I go. This are you? Yeah. This is my father. I go. Are you under the impression a mountain lion couldn't kill you? And he goes, "It's a stupid question." And I go, "Why?" He goes, "Because first of all, it's not a real lion, and second of all, a mountain lion would never dare to attack me." Wow. <laughs> okay. And then I go. I go. How do you know that? And he goes, "I don't know that." It knows that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Yes. Apparently, he gives off such an alpha scent in his right, mind. Right, right. I sure. will not dare. He sure. was never afraid of anything, not even dogs. Wow. It, it didn't, didn't matter if it was a huge police dog. And it, he was just, in his mind, first of all, he'd kill a dog, in his mind. And uh, he just had this insane... I think he'd been through his share of... He was a Marine and had been through okay. his share of wars. That I, I just think he wasn't afraid of anything. So I've been talking about this on stage now. And you got to come to the show because this... I'm not... Hear the rest you know, of it, yeah. Yeah. But that's that's been... That's kind of what's... My, my new... So is that is, where you got... Because it takes a lot of balls to be out on stage. Yeah. And to be a confident in the kind of physical show you do and really kind of intimate stuff you talk about. Yeah. Do you think you got that... that verb that what do you call that from your father i think it came from no i think my obsession with the notion of what masculinity is Mm. is where what i like to explore he was such an archetype he was he was just such a you know one of these just kind of career warriors that um, but but you have to understand i found out recently that he wasn't just a banker that he worked for you know that that uh, it's been more confirmed from a good friend of his that you know he he's a guy who probably did some stuff for the government probably maybe oh, uh huh. maybe helped some governments transition and things yeah. like that yeah it? like my friend said to him once he was drunk and he asked him if he ever had you know taken a life my father said i never stopped to look pal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. that's a real answer wow. yeah. but you that's know a real answer how, he many, never said that to how me. many of us have a father who's top secret classified and can't tell us what he did yeah 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 and my mother said and when i when i when i was with his friend and i said i'm gonna ask and my mother said don't ask him anything he won't tell you a thing and i thought damn that's pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> so anyway it's it's been a really interesting kind of it's been a it's been an interesting ride man Brian Callen. Uh, Brian, uh, in town at the parlor. Don't miss the show. It's a really great show. I've been uh, two years in a row. It's always flattering. You look fantastic. I'm still working it. We talked a little bit about health. You're very into the, are you still very into the fitness? Yes. I like, like, why not feel better? Why not feel your best, you know? I'm just impressed with your hair. You're never losing that mane. The hair? No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, there's no receding hairline for me. Bob is a silver fox and not a small man. He's got shoulders (laughs) for days. What are you, about 6'2", 6'3"? 6'1". You're 6'1"? Yeah. One only? Yeah, he stands like 6'2", tall. though. Yeah. yeah, he does. He's a handsome kid. He's got a strong jaw, expressive eyes. This makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> does I know it does. <laughs> I know it really. Brian would like to stay for another time. You know After he's I make saw his show, at the first kidding. time I saw his show, I know why he's doing that. The first time I saw his show, I watched on stage, the, 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 there's a lot of physicality to your show. And yeah. a lot of it is, you know, yoga poses and things that most people can't do. Because <laughs> you describe various things in your life and, you, and, you, and you're so intense 
that I after the show I asked him. I said, "You you must have a you know hot a, a routine uh, yeah, to stay a in shape." Yeah, you, like you, can, you know, they call it stand up comics because a lot of people just stand there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although you I'm, don't. you know, I like to put myself in crazy because I'm boxing now. My buddy's a pro boxer. I won a bronze medal in the Olympics. I tried to box. I tried to hit him. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I couldn't touch him. It was, it was one of the best. And I, in three minutes, I was doing this. <sighs> I almost died of exhaustion. I was wow. wheezing. That's humbling. So I'm not in great shape. I saw your uh, your last special on Showtime was awesome. Is that where you're kind of pointing this one towards? A little bit more. Uh, it's more personal. This one. Mm -hmm. It's a lot mm -hmm. more personal, and it's a lot more about who I'd like to be versus who I really. So am. we see a lot of what's going to be on that special tonight. At the parlor. Yes, you will. All right. The parlor live. Uh, Brian Callen and uh, ParlorLive.com is the website for tickets. We also have a link at BobRivers.com. All the best. You're the best, Bob Rivers. Thanks.